Hello and welcome friends. I recently bought this wonderful lot of writing instruments and they were quite expensive. I paid for them 2100 lays or the equivalent of 426.02 euros or 468.09 American dollars. But you will see this lot contains some really, really nice writing instruments, some vintage pieces and uh, in my opinion quite rare pieces. So without further delay, let me open them and um, I must tell you that I bought them from a local antique dealer in my town of Brasov, Romania. And this gentleman was kind enough to offer me the possibility of acquiring them in the three easy installments of 700 lace or approximately 142 euros or 100, uh, 142 euros or 156.03 American dollars. So I uh, paid two installments and uh, Today I paid the last installment, so practically you will see I have uh, 27 pieces, some of them are vintage fountain pens, some of them are modern fountain pens, and um, practically I paid for one item, 78 lays, the equivalent of 15.82 euros, or 17.38 American dollars, so not a, a bad deal. In uh, this lot I have uh, this leather etui, which was uh, a bonus, it's quite old, probably from the 1950s or 1960s, uh, and um, I uh, like it a lot. And also as a bonus I have this leather etui, and I believe it's original from uh, Mont Blanc. You can see the logo right here. It can hold a small piece and it's quite, quite nice. So these are bonus items, guys. And let me start, let's see, let's see. With, yes, why not, this particular one. I believe that this is an original Mont Blanc rollerball. And you can see quite nice written here Mont Blanc Meisterstück Pix. It's uh, quite in a good uh, shape. And let me show you how you can uh, refill it. So, this is the Mine Le Grand Roller Ball refill made in Italy Mont Blanc. Quite nice. So, this is uh, the first piece. I actually have one uh, roller ball in my collection. I'm not so sure about the dimensions of this piece. Let me see. I believe it's a Le Grand model, but I can be mistaken, it's quite a large one, and I have right here, guys, a Mont Blanc Meister Stuhl Le Grand 146. It seems to be the same size, but this is a fountain pen. So let me put back the fountain pen. This is the first item, not a bad item. Let me put this aside here, and let me take out another piece, and this. I believe it's a simple pen, a modern pen. Let me see. Yes, this is a modern pen, probably made in China. Not an expensive one, a cartridge filler. So it was part of the lot. And I got also this. Okay. Now let's uh, move on to the next item. Oh, and this is a beauty, guys. This is one of the um, 
uh, best buys in this lot you can see it's a vintage Mont Blanc probably from the 1930s or the 1940s let me zoom on it it has this wonderful engraving here Mont Blanc it has this beautiful beautiful logo at the top of the cap you can see this wonderful wonderful clip it has two bands here and if I unscrew the cap we can see faded away the ink window here and the beautiful beautiful nib probably I need to zoom on it guys yes we have 14 carat and the size of the nib number four nib on the back we have this beautiful, beautiful ebonite ski slide type feeder. Quite, quite interesting, guys. And of course, what is um, nice, we can see here a number and the RP Deutsch, Deutsches Reich patent. And the Deutsches Reich patent was. Um, a symbol found on objects produced in Germany in the 1800s till 1945 and the model of this particular piece is engraved here on the turning knob we have a 334 half quite nice and what is interesting we have the size of the nib oblique broad a beautiful beautiful oblique broad nib and guys let me tell you this is one of the reasons i bought this lot for this wonderful wonderful piece over here guys and since i'm talking of wonderful wonderful pieces let me reveal also another elephant in the room look at this wonderful wonderful pan guys another beautiful Mont Blanc from the 1930s and another great buy for me and this one it has this wonderful wonderful clip like a serpent quite nice this is a Meisterstück model and interesting enough we have Meisterstück written right over here so you can see Meisterstück faded away at the top of the cap You see Meisterstück, you can see this wonderful, wonderful logo at the top of it. This time we don't have any engravings on the cap. And let me reveal the model. We have a 126G model. And guys, look at here. Double broad nib. <laughs> this is a wonderful, wonderful piece and um, let me show you that wonderful wonderful nib again it has a ink window it needs to be cleaned but look at this beautiful beautiful double broad nib this is wonderful guys a wonderful wonderful piece from the late 19th uh, late 1940s or maybe 1930s I, I am not so sure when this piece was produced but again a wonderful wonderful add to my Mont Blanc collection um, you can see this has a brown patina to it definitely made of hard rubber quite quite interesting and uh, quite valuable okay so i believe that those were the main um, attractions of this lot the rest of them they are quite interesting and i will uh, share them to you so let me start with this one you can see another mont blanc but this time a modern mont blanc it uh, probably it is a two to one model you can see the wonderful wonderful 14 carat 585 nib 
and this I believe it uses yes ink cartridges also included in this lot guys and let's move on and I think yes here I have another Mont Blanc from the 1970s look at this wonderful wonderful clip of course you recognize it this is the Mont Blanc Carrera a wonderful piece with a steel nib not a gold nib this time but again a wonderful wonderful piece an interesting piece and also a cartridge filler okay now let's move on what do i have here a nice looking pan I believe it's made out of plastic again this torpedo shape design let me see i believe it's a no i believe you you need to uh, you need to open it like this i believe that uh, based on this ink window it was never used and it should be a piston filler yes and you can see in, in a NOS condition. I'm not so sure about the producer of it. Let me zoom on the nib to see what it is engraved on it. Edelstald 12 Gleitspitze. Probably a German made piston filler with an ink window. Probably from the late 1960s and it is made in uh, plastic but it has wonderful wonderful details on the trims of the cap okay let's move on guys and now this is a modern pan quite a heavy metallic pan the clues about it they are engraved right over here at the top of the cap soprane soprane quite a nice model it has some uh, Egyptian hieroglyphs on it. It unscrews like this. And of course we have Laban, Iridium M Laban. This is a nice, nice looking nib. A steel nib gold uh, plated. And if I'm not mistaken, this one uses also ink cartridges and in fact we have an ink cartridge over there quite a nice piece i must say i uh, enjoy the bun products they are well made and again another piece included in this lot let's uh, move on let me see this one so we have something engraved on the clip of the cap Krauitzer, Germany, let me see, yes, another fountain pen with a semi-hooded nib, probably made in the 1970s, another colorful looking fountain pen, probably made for the school market, quite nice, okay, other piece included in this lot, I think this is a reform pen. I'm not so sure. Let me zoom on it, guys. Yes, we have something here at the ring. Reform Germany. Another interesting piece. And uh, a nice looking nib. Reform West Germany. So, probably a fountain pen made before 1989. Again it uses ink cartridge is quite quite nice also included in this lot and let's move on guys what do i have here i have another old piece and it's something written right over here and um, i believe it's a hansa if I'm not mistaken, Hansa, yes, you can see, Hansa 53. Hansa is an East German manufacturer. 
you can see the band uh, uh, it's uh, out of its place and uh, let me open this wonderful piece unfortunately this has uh, missing the entire nib and this uh, ebonite feeder quite a shame let me see if the piston is functional and it has a bl blind cap let me see yes it uh, still works a shame it doesn't have that feeder and uh, the nib probably I will use it for spare parts we will see I don't know if um, the dimensions ma the dimensions match probably I will fit it with a nice steel nib and a new feeder but I'm not complaining it is part of the lot and I like it let me continue and these guys well this is another wonderful wonderful piece probably again from the 1930s another German piece and we have bowler gold we can see the nice nice looking pattern we see here a uh, OM so it should uh, have an oblique medium nib and another 54 probably the name of the model what is wonderful about this is uh, this top of the cap it has this nice nice looking um, I believe logo with this wonderful lapis lazuli or I'm not so sure what that uh, blue color is called but it, this is a wonderful wonderful piece guys and um, if we unscrew the cap we can see the interesting ink window probably we have a blind cap here I'm not so sure let me see yes indeed we have a blind cap here and the piston is functional probably it needs that corkscrew to be replaced we will see when I will do its review and another great thing about this pan guys is this wonderful wonderful nib a uh, degusa nib 14 carat 585 with that wonderful wonderful logo and this is the nice feeder on the back of it so another interesting buy guys i'm uh, quite pleased with this wonderful wonderful piece a uh, lesser known german producer but look at this wonderful model probably from the 1930s and it is simply beautiful guys and I will put it next to its probably its rivals from that period next to the Mont Blancs. So let me continue, guys. I have here a simple Pelican, probably mod the model 150. I'm not so sure. Let me see what we have here. Yes, we have a steel nib gold plated. The number, uh, the size of the nib is M. Let me see, we have the model with uh, two cheeks. And uh, this is painted. Probably a model uh, produced uh, after 1997. But a nice, nice piston filler. Let me see if the piston is functional. Oh, let me tell you, it uh, runs, it runs quite smooth, so a wonderful, wonderful piece. And uh, why not? Every lot that contains a wonderful pelican is a nice, nice lot. Let me put this here, guys. Let me continue. Probably this is a modern fountain pen, a Spanish fountain pen from Inox Chrome, if I'm not mistaken yes inox chrome you can see right over here a nice metallic slim uh, pan let me see how i can open it yes with this wonderful inox chrome iridium 
steel gold plated nib quite a nice product and this should run also on cartridges okay a nice looking modern piece this time and let me see what else what else guys well i have one uh, fake product right over here but it was part of the lot it is a ballpoint pen you can see not a mont blanc this is a, a bad uh, fake and <laughs> probably a fat one I recognize some parts of the design of the model, but they did a poor, poor job uh, faking this product. It was included in the lot, so it is what it is, guys. Let me continue. This is a uh, Mont Blanc, and I bought it as it is, guys. Probably it has a cracked cap, and somebody put this tape to ensure it's structural uh, let's see resistance probably if i'm not mistaken it should be a mont blanc 22 it should be written somewhere over here but the cap is not important oh no it's not a 22 it's not a 24 maybe you can help me mean the common definitely a piston filler and i have this model interesting enough this one has a steel nib fitted to it so not a gold nib but it was part of the lot so again i will probably use it for spare parts or probably i will find a replacement cap maybe i when i will do its review we will find together what the problem is i will reveal i will take off this um, tape this blue tape okay another little mont blanc this time an original mont blanc what do we have here i believe that this was um, like a set and it should have also other piece yes i will uh, show it as it is this is a waterman nice one let me see what what we have here I'm not so sure how to open this cap. Hmm. Strange. Oh, yes. It is a pressure fit cap. And yes, it is a fountain pen. And this particular one is quite nice. It has a little bit of a crack there on the grip section. A nice steel nib. A Waterman France M nib. And again a cartridge filler whoa interesting pattern of the ink <laughs> nice let me see so this i believe it, i have also a matching ballpoint pen also in this green uh, color and i will find it this this i don't know it doesn't have the engravings on it let me see what we have on the nib iridium point germany so another generic pen you can see quite poorly made but part of the lot so i don't mind let me put back here guys and let's continue this is an interesting lamy yes and if I'm not mistaken, the name should be written right over here. If I'm not mistaken, the 25P, yes, Lamy 25P West Germany. Quite, quite a nice pen. I have this in my collection, so uh, this is like a double, but um, I don't mind owning two of them. This is a Mugler, yes, pen. It's a fashion brand, Thierry Mugler, and this, yes, probably a rollerball pen, probably made in China, but part of this lot. Let me continue. Oh, yes, another vintage beauty, guys. Let me show it to you. It has... 
something engraved here. Star, I believe, and it has two stars over here. Made in this old, old German design. And look at this wonderful, wonderful glass nib. Is that the first glass nib pen I have? The number engraved here 111, so I'm not so sure. Star 111, probably a German piece made in the 1930s or in the 1940s. Nothing engraved on the barrel, it seems to be celluloid. So, wonderful, wonderful piece, guys. Another vintage, vintage beauty. This is another Thierry Mugler, probably a mechanical pencil, judging by this, I'm not so sure. It likes this part, so uh, it was part of the, um, the same set as uh, the other one. And this is the matching Waterman uh, ballpoint pen. It matches this wonderful fountain pen. And I'm done to the last ones. This, guys, this is a wonderful, probably, um, it has different colors here. So, I think it is a mechanical pencil. And what is interesting about it, guys, we have here the producer, another German producer, Fend, Germany. And this is solid sterling silver uh, in 900 Germany, not sterling silver because sterling silver is 925. I'm not so sure, but judging by the way it looks, it is solid silver, 900 silver, quite a nice, nice piece. Also part of this lot. I'm not so sure if it's a multicolored ballpoint pen or a multicolored mechanical pencil, and I don't know how you can open it. I don't want to break it. Look, it uh, operates like this. Oh yes, let me see. Yes, this is definitely a ballpoint pen with uh, probably with several colors here i'm not so sure how to operate it hmm. we will see when i will do its review guys uh, definitely a nice piece probably from the 1950s okay let me put this here and i i still have fountain pens so this is a metallic pen probably made in india or china a simple pen let me show you the nib Iridium point Germany it was gold plated in its lifetime matching this wonderful pattern but you can see not an interesting pen a quite uh, cheap pen with a lovely metallic body hmm. it is what it is part of this lot so among uh, beauties and treasures I have also this uh, rotten apples should I call them this is a wonderful piece, Carlo. Okay, Cantina, Carlo Cantinaro, Carlo Cantinaro. This is a modern piece, and this is a ballpoint pen, so no particular interest of mine. And now I'm done to, yes, the last piece. The last piece is uh, Daniel Hatcher. I have heard of this producer. It's quite nice in this pattern. It reminds me of the Waterman, of a Waterman design. Let me see, the cap on screws, 
we can see this interesting name hacker i'm not so sure if i pronounce it correctly f and this should be uh, another cartilage filler with an interesting plastic design quite quite nice and practical so this was my video guys i hope you've uh, enjoyed it probably my favorite buys are uh, of course those buys right over here so this wonderful piece this piece and where is the other Mont Blanc? This one and why not this fend one? So those are beautiful. And uh, I'm missing something. Yes, I'm missing this one with that glass nib. My favorite buys of uh, this lot. Probably one of these Mont Blancs is worth the price of the all that you see here so uh, i got a really really nice deal guys tell me what you think about this buy well uh, this is the proof that you can still find some nice bargains out there so go out there and search them guys and believe me if you have patience you will find some nice deals out there I want to thank you for your time, thank you for your views, thank you for your support. I will see you again in the next episode. Till then, bye bye and God bless you all my dear friends.